They did an incredible job. They went into one of the big buildings, a beautiful landmark building. Boy, they got the they got the hell beat out of it last night. You know, police came in and in exactly two hours, everything was over. It was a beautiful thing to watch. New York's finest. And they went and they knocked it out and they were incredible. They did a great job. With your vote, we're going to save our economy and we're going to bring our country back from hell. We have a country that's in hell. Look at what's going on. Look at the crime. Look at the crime. You know, I lost a tenant. They said, sir, you lost a tenant. Big drugstore, big one in one of my buildings. And I said, what's the problem? This is in New York, but it ha it's happening all over. I don't think it's happening here so much. Maybe it is, actually. They, uh, oh, in Chicago. Chicago, it's happening. <laughs> it's they say, sir, we can't keep product. I say, well, that's a good thing, is that they can't keep product, they told me. I called the manager, nice guy. I said, what happened? He said, we can't keep product. I said, oh, that's good, isn't it? No, that's not bad. They're walking in with bags. They're taking it off the shelves. So now they put bars up, and they put glass up, and somebody wants to buy toothpaste, and it takes a half an hour for the guy to come. They open up, they give him, how the hell can you make money doing that? Who ever heard of it? If somebody would have told you that two or three years ago that that's happening, you would have said that's not possible. We knew about three, four hundred usually young people uh, walking into department stores and just robbing the place, walking out with television sets. We're going to give our great police, they are great, their power back. And they're going to protect us again. And, you know, you saw it last night. That's one good thing that really happened. You saw it last night because New York was under siege last night. And these people, uh, they, first they were intense, and the, the person that heads up Columbia University w was a great school. It's been, you know, badly damaged, I think, reputationally. But the person that heads it up, a woman, she waited so long. She was so weak. She was so afraid. She was so bad. They could have done this with the tents, and it would have gone quickly and no problem. But they did an incredible job. They went into one of the big buildings, a beautiful landmark building. Boy, they got the, they got the hell beat out of it last night. You know, you're supposed to take care of those buildings. It took a beating. But the police came in, and in exactly two hours, everything was over. It was a beautiful thing to watch. New York's finest. You saw them go up in ladders. <laughs> You saw them go up in ladders to break in the windows and getting in, and that's dangerous because you don't know what's on the other side of that window. And they went and they knocked it out, and they were incredible. They did a great job. New York's finest. And, you know, it's uh, like that throughout the country. Chicago, great police. L.A., great police. I know so many of them. I know so many of the top people and the middle people. I see them all over. They're great, and they can do the job. But we have to give them their power back. <laughs>